Hi friends. Today we will learn company accounts issue of debentures. You can know more about this concept in detail by watching our introduction to issue of debentures. As this session is mainly focused on problem solving and this chapter is also based on journal entries. So we should always follow these tips. So here is the question. As you can see in the question, there are 8,000 debentures that were issued, and the face value is 100. And these debentures were issued at a discount of 10%. They were collected in the form of application, allotment, first call, and second call. The amount, when added up, is equal to 90, showing that the discount is 10. Also. 10% of 100 is 10. So first, the company issues 8,008% debentures. Now here, 8% is the name of the debenture and also the interest that has to be paid by the company. We will pass the entry for interest only if our question will say so. In a practical case, there will be a fixed time at which the interest is paid. So friends, the question says the debentures were fully subscribed. As you already know, the journal entry for shares. We will only replace the word shares with 8% debentures. So what is the logical explanation for this entry? Let's say we ask for a loan from the lenders in a market. So they will first give us the money. So bank account is debited following the rule of the real account. And since the lenders are giving us money, they will be credited in 8% debenture application account following the rule of the personal account credit to the giver. Your 8% is the name of the debenture. That's why we have written 8% debenture application account. And this is because a company can have many different debentures at the same point of time. For example, 5% debentures or 7% debentures. That's why it is necessary for us to name the debenture. Similarly, once the company decides on the allotment to particular number of lenders, the respective amount will be transferred from debenture application to debenture capital account. After that, we have the entry for allotment due on debentures. Here, in our question, debentures are issued at a discount, which means that on the face value of 100, they were issued at 90 which is a loss and has to be debited. So our entry. Your discount and issue is a loss because the debentures are issued at a value lower than its face value. And the next entry is for the amount received on allotment. Bank account debit to 8% debenture allotment account. Friends, here again, cash or the amount in allotment is received. So bank account is debited. Here, we can have a look at the first call due. And then received. Similarly, for the second call due, and then received. As you can see, that the entries look the same as those in company account issue of shares. Only the word shares is replaced with debentures. So friends, I hope you have enjoyed the session. And as we have noticed, 
there is not much difference between the accounting treatment for issue of shares and issue of debentures. So I hope this session has given you some relief. And in our upcoming sessions, we will solve a problem on redemption of debentures. So please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Till then, keep practicing and keep learning.